Hey, all, hey, Rose, and welcome back to Let's Play Might and Magic 8. We are technically ready to end this game. Um, yeah, by going through the crystal and doing crap on the other side, but I'm going to be tying up loose ends first. Quite a few loose ends. Why am I not flying anymore? Quite a few loose ends. Uh, first off, obelisks. I've been ignoring them up to now. I'm going to get all of them in a row with maybe one pit stop along the way. Because I can. Another loose end to tie. And it's going to be a short one, so might as well. So, as you can guess, Gedagoon's uh, obelisk is in this direction. Uh, Dagoon's is the trickiest and the best hidden, to be honest. You have to climb up this mountain. Up this path here. And here's the obelisk. Very well hidden. Inside a volcano. That's the most hidden one. By the way... The uh, messages are not nearly as cryptic. <laughs> I mean, you're going to have to read one, two, three, four, five, six. There's nine of them. Only nine of them. <sighs> not as hard to figure out either. Come on, just cast it. Uh, next up, Regna. Regna, we did encounter. A lot of those we actually encountered as we were going through this crap. So, you know, when I say it is... Uh, Dagoons is the trickiest. I mean, it. you're not going to encounter that obelisk just naturally walking around doing quests you know you're gonna have to search for it you really have to want it to have it <laughs> all right so here we're going after the obelisks i am going to make a pick stop at uh, a few chests because well it's right next to the obelisk actually but yeah i'm gonna stop at the um Around here, you remember seeing the six chests when I was looking for dragons? Uh, this thing here? That's actually the treasure of Dread Pirate Stanley. So, uh, I'm just gonna gather up all of these. All of these gorgons. That I probably should have killed a long time ago. Gather up. Come on. You know you want to. Good. Alright. And then we're just going to cast a whole bunch of meteor showers. And then we're going to have some fun. Oh, that was pretty lame, actually. Wait, are they immune to fire or something? Hold on, I can identify properly. They are immune to fire, indeed, so I need to switch out those bows. This is why I kept the old bows. Alright. Hey, I d that means I just showed you what a uh, identify monster does. Oh, look at all these fireballs that are not exploded yet. I don't know what they're waiting for. It won't hurt us. Won't it? We Hold on. It. Yeah, they're resistant to a lot of magical, even physical. Haha! <laughs> they're resistant to physical, indeed. Okay. Wait, if they're immune to fire, then they're immune to... S it oh. won't hurt us. God damn it. They're immune to air as well, so you can't just use the... Um, you can't just use the uh, starfall, either. You really have to shoot them down one at a time. Kind of boring, but you have to, I guess. Oops. I should probably get higher from the ground. Oh, this takes forever. Hold on. I'm gonna bless. That would probably help go faster. I could skip this entire thing if I... If I just play it safe. Hold on. Do -do -do. Alright. Hi! Don't mind me, I am just opening a few chests. Stanley had a lot of gold. And gems that I'm gonna sell, sure, why not. I don't have to, but I suppose I will. Do -do -do. More money everywhere. And an empty bottle. It looks that is the best part of the, the treasure, no doubt. Just the one bubble. Not bubble. Not bubble, bottle that he just kept because he felt like it. Ooh, that looks fancy. That on the other hand, you know, I'm probably gonna keep, if not use. I wonder what that is. Oh, it's wonderful. Judicious measure. Ogre slaying. <laughs> I'm done slaying ogres, thank you. Uh it does look pretty good. I'm gonna I'm gonna check it out. Hold on. One more chest. Yeah. I'm not going to bother killing these things. It's going to take way too long. If I can't use Meteor Shower to speed this up, I'm just not going to do it. See y'all. Where's the obelisk again? Oh, yeah, over there. Cool. Doo -doo. So, that, again, is something we 
found when we uh, were adventuring. I am. I did. I did decide to hold them off until I could get. Not until I could, but until I wanted to get all of them together. That way, if someone, just someone, randomly find, randomly wants to find all the uh, obelisks, because he just started playing this game and he doesn't know where they are, well, he can just Google and he's gonna find this video and he's gonna be like, oh, this is where they all are. It's easy, quick and easy way to know that. Uh, of course, there's always internet. They have guides and maps. Although the site that has maps is very disorganized. I was not very pleased with that uh, that site. I just came through there just to make sure the, those six chests were really Stanley's treasure. Oops, I don't have food apparently. Gal, that's not good. Uh, I'll fix that later. Screw that. Y'all can be weak, I don't care that much. I think the obelisk is in the top left corner. If I remember correctly, that is exactly where it is. Yeah, we can barely see it. That's another thing that we encountered while we were out adventuring. Oh, I should have looted that dragon. Hold on. Hello, dragon. Okay, it's just money. Whatever. You know, a lot of dragons have loots, like good loots on them. Not those, apparently. Oh, hey, these things are back. Hi, Nagas. Yeah, I miss you too, girls. See you later. I don't have to murder all of you anymore. I'm sure you'll be very happy to hear that. Oh yeah, most things are probably going to have respawned by now, because we have been training for a very long time. The Unicorn Kin. Kin. Yep, that's totally what it's saying. The Unicorn Kin. That is, by the way, the first message, as far as I know. Alright, I am going to... Um, I am going to find an inn and fix myself, because I'm tired. Poor little guys are tired. Yay, not tired anymore. I'm also going to want some some supplies, as he puts it. Oh, wait, hold on. I do need to get the obelisk. I do believe in this one he's in the top left. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it's up here somewhere. It's probably there because I've mapped pretty much everything here and there's no obelisk. So, yeah, probably top left corner. I could be wrong. I'm doing this from memory. I did not check the maps for the obelisk. I was confident slash overconfident, but I uh, I did check the Stanley to not waste your time. Although I would be wasting your time if I was wrong here. By the way, the wolves are back, I think. Yep, they totally are. I could get some more money out of that hunter lady by hunting pelts. I kind of don't want to. Boring. Easy, too. Oh, there's a chest here. Probably worth kind of trash, but that's fine. Yeah, loads of trash. Whatever. Uh, is there no bliss up here? I was wrong. I thought it was there. Hmm. All right, I'll cut for a second. It might be up here. I don't actually remember where Raven Shores is. I'll cut. Be right back. Aha! It was top right corner, and I remembered wrong. Oh, stats cool. White, I don't know what that is. Might, that's perfect. Red, next up. Shadow Spire. That one is really easy to find, actually, if you just explore a little, because you felt like exploring. It is right behind the Vampire Crypt. Right behind it. You see there's a little space between the crypt and the edge? If you ever wonder what the crap is hidden there, well, you're going to find a whole bunch of skeletons. Uh, that's behind the Necromancer Gale, actually. A whole bunch of skeletons, uh, the obelisk, and then the dragon cave. So you do have to explore a little if you want to find crap, but... <sighs> it is rather re rewarding in the Shadow Spire to explore this whole map. Well, not this place. Who cares? There's just, there's just skeletons there. Nobody cares about those skeletons. There is a water, I think that's water resistance. Yeah, water resistance pedestal. You can get water resistance there if you uh, if you want for some reason, I don't know. Maybe some dragons spit f water at you, or cold, as the case may be. Right, let's get iron sand. Desert, cyclopses are back. I should find that. That, you know that tunnel? The entrance, I think, is somewhere over here. I don't quite remember, but it's fine. 
Uh, I'm probably not going to do the fire resistance potion quest just because it's boring. I mean, just look up the uh, recipe for fire resistance and do it like I think it's you're I think you're missing like three or four potions. Just do it three or four times. You win. You need master level uh, alchemy to do it. What am I doing here again? Oh yeah, obelisk. It's on the island. We found that when we were trying to get to the fire realm. Ah, oh yeah, somebody was mentioning you should loot the firebirds because uh, maybe they have good loot. He was mentioning that. I don't know if they have good loot. I'm not going to do the whole detour just to find out. I don't. I haven't even looked it up to know if he was right or not. Wait, hold on. I cannot teleport when I'm yellow. Green is good, though. Alvar. Alvar. Uh, where's the obelisk? Oh, yeah. On one of the uh, ridges. Exactly here, to be precise. And there it is. That one's really easy to find if you just learn to fly and then you start flying around. You're gonna find it immediately. Alright, one last unicorn. Not unicorn. There are unicorns where we are going, but one last obelisk. Uh, Murmur Wed. Mm hmm. And ogres, apparently. I have an ogre. Right, I have an ogre slaying sword. I haven't lo taken a look at it. 13 to the 4, 13. I'll take this, I think. Hold on. Stats. Uh, three less maximum damage. One more attack, but damage is more important than attack. I think I'm going to keep it, if only because uh, this has a load of water resistance. I just don't like it. It can slow targets, but so can my mate. Well, my mate can paralyze, so really. Slowing is not exactly an issue. Let's get the explosives back on. Cool. Alright, I have an ogre slaying sword. Don't come near me. You don't want to do this. Trust me, you don't. Alright, Murmur Woods. I do, no, don't teleport. Fly. Oh, the Gorgons are back. I just heard a few gor Gorgons growl at me. Now, if I, remember, if I remember correctly, Obelisk is in the top left. If not, it's in the bottom right. And I'll be walking around the whole crap ton to find it, apparently. That's okay, though. I have Fly. I'm not walking. Not actually walking. Look at that. There's a there's an arrow there. I don't know why it what it's trying to point. At. I don't remember. There's a lot. Of, I he I hear there's a lot of Easter eggs in here. That is, uh, special trees. Oh look, it's a star with uh, something in it. Heroism pistol. That's a pretty good one actually. Unicorns, unicorns everywhere, and an obelisk. Oh yeah, by the way, unicorns shoot things with their horns. <laughs> Don't mind them. <laughs> uh, let's just get out of here. What do unicorns look like? I'm actually curious. It's resistant to a whole crap ton of things, including physical. Uh, dark and water, fire are the best ways, so I could just round... Oh no, I can't round them up because they're archers. They don't, they don't gather up under me, they just wander and shoot. Ah, uh, basilisk, that's the home. I should go back to the... Oh, if they're respawned, that means I'm going to have to kill them. Right. Oh, the barrels have respawned, these things have respawned. Oh, cool. Fantastic. I do have to kill them. For reasons that are going to be clear in a second. Can you please cast that? I'm pretty sure I clicked five times on this. Oh, by the way, these things, these guys are rich. I think I mentioned that, though. Somebody did in the comments, though. Because I failed to loot them, but you know what? I failed at needing money, so... <laughs> Whatever. Uh, I'm not a millionaire anymore, though, because I trained. Die. Gee. He didn't die in one hit. That's... That's surprising. <laughs> Don't get stuck. Uh, you know what? Was it I? Clerics being rich is also pretty amusing because that's kind of just a criticism of, you know, the clergy making a crap ton of money off of people's beliefs. Are they resistant to fire or something? Hold on. No, okay. They're just immune to light, which is not particularly surprising. Not that I tried to hit them with light or anything. Uh, maybe that does mean that they're immune to uh, dispel, though. That, that Well, light bolt. Yeah, I couldn't use light bolt on them or prism or whatever. 
I don't usually use the light magic to kill people. Now then, that message, right. I wanted a safe place to read it. The Unicorn King holds old Thorn's key among his subjects, appears while the sun sh shines on Midsummer Day. A.K.A. there's going to be a Unicorn King with a key that you'll want. June 24th, and we are April 22nd. We are quite in advance. Ah, uh, that's okay. I'll just... See y'all in a couple months. Wait, May, June, yeah, in a couple months. Pretty much exactly. Oh my god, that's a lot. 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, normally. Yes! Alright, we are June 24th. June 24th, we need this. I guess we should be buffing. No, we're not, we're not supposed to be buffing right now. Alright. I read the guide because I didn't want to have to search for him all over the place. Oh, shoot. I'm going to have to kill some stuff, won't I? If I want to wait... Oh, God. Annoying! Do they explode? No. My arrows explode. That's what happened. Alright, kill these things. Wait. Okay, it's not stunned. It's dead. Cool. For a second there, I thought it died. It just got stunned. Cool. I need to find something. Oh, this thing. Uh, it apparently comes around the uh, poisoned, the poisoned um, well at at around 9 a.m. So, oh, horseshoe. That's random. So I'm just gonna clean out the area around here, and then just wait until 9 a.m. or 8 something because. Too easy. Is it? I did not realize I killed something right there. Those bows, those bows are just annoying me. Hold on, I'm done with these bows. Just no, I've hurt myself more than enemies with this. It's stupid. All right, let's wait a couple hours. Cool. Buffs should have worn off. They're about to. Okay, cool. Apparently, my buffs last two hours now. Nice, good job. What time is it? That's a poison. That is a poison one, right? I'm not gonna check. <laughs> if he's not there around 9 a.m., I'm just gonna go somewhere else. I'm, I guess I'm just gonna fly over the entire stupid forest until I find the thing. I did check a guide so that I wouldn't have to do that. Better not have to. Come on, show up already. I'm here. <sighs> well, he does want to be... Oh, look at that. That's a red dot that just appeared out of nowhere. Hello. You shoot a lot of projectiles. Hold on, I need to identify you. 800, no resistances. Uh, 76 is a lot, actually, kind of. That's 7 times 6. Or rather, times 1, 2, 6, I think. So that's a lot, basically. It can be a lot. Uh, no resistances though, it's just easy. No way it was going to be anything else than easy. You took the Emperor Thorn's key! Yep. It doesn't tell you what it opens though. Something else is supposed to tell you what that opens, and I'm not going to go check it out because I am lazy, I'm going to tell you though. In uh, Ravenshore, in the Merchant's Guild, in the... Uh, in the library in there, I've shown you the library before, in, in there somewhere is a book slash uh, scroll, I don't remember which one, but something in there is going to give you the clue that tells you that this key opens uh, this chest over here. It's supposed to make the, to have you make the relation between the Vault of Time and the Unicorn King. So you just open this up and you get all this crap. Oh, that looks good, doesn't it? All of this ore is the best quality ore, so you can craft, craft yourself a bunch of good quality items, I would say, and then you get a whole bunch of, well, a whole bunch, a couple, is that oh, a... It's wonderful. Yeah, okay. Three. <laughs> Three. Three relics. I'm gonna I'm gonna learn to speak someday. Uh, 
that is probably not going to be good for the Minotaur, but I'm oh, going to check it out anyways. Wonderful. That is a mace. I already regenerate hit points. I'm going to see if it's better than what I'm using. This is powerful. That's a vampire dagger, which is perfect because I'm using a vampire. This is probably the first time I'm ever going to use that, because this is the first time I ever use a vampire. Uh, 12, 3, 3, 2, one. you know what, I'm just going to test it out. Ta -da! Same damage, 3 more attack. A lot less endurance, which means 8 less HP. Uh, less might, which is not affecting much of anything, actually. More personality, nobody cares. Oh, you hold it way higher. Man, that's got to be the wrong way to hold this. I don't know, but... You're not going to be hitting quite as hard with this with this part of the mace if you're holding it there. You need to hold it here to hit harder. All right, so breaker is not as good. By a, my three attack, I mean, eight hit points are not going to make a difference here. Just no. Uh, 